I, like 54% of the global population, live in a city. In 2050, 66% of all of us will be city mice. Wow, that's a lot! I wonder how do we all fit in? And it makes me wonder also how will the cities of the future look like? Will there be more and more pollution, violence and traffic jams? Or will we have more parks, safer neighborhoods and accessible public transportation? Managing urban areas is one of the most important development challenges of the 21st century. Because, you know, we have to put all these people coming to the city somewhere and we have to make sure they're not miserable. This is where the urban planners come in. They are the ones who have to plan the city's investments considering our future needs regarding transportation, AI, climate change, food, green spaces, changes in the urban area and crime. Let's start with transportation. All around the world, especially in European cities, the city centers are slowly being returned to pedestrians and bicyclists. The traffic is limited or completely eliminated and bikes are taking over. See, in my capital, Ljubljana, Slovenia, urban planners decided to totally eradicate traffic from the city center. Only a few buses and some electric vehicles for disabled people can circulate which means not just fewer roads and traffic jams, but also less parking spaces. And all this creates more room for green spaces, playgrounds, restaurants and more buildings. In the future, the percentage of personal vehicles will decline, as there will be less need to own a car. There should be better public transportation, e-bikes, e-scooters and autonomous cars. But being driven around by robots is just the beginning. Here are some more examples of robots that are already alive and kicking. Kinda. A robot police officer that can search a chosen area for crime and violence or even spot small fires has already made its appearance in Dubai, where they are also trying out a robot delivery service or even taxi drones. A robot information provider is already offering advice on French railway stations in all kinds of languages because we all know how good French are in foreign languages. But these robots might soon be more common and we will probably see them appear all around the globe. They don't need rest or sick leave and don't get bored or stressed at work, which makes them, if they work properly, perfect for all kinds of jobs, from cleaning and delivering goods to inspection, crime and flying people around the city. And there will be quite a lot of flying around if we consider that according to a United Nations report, there will be 6 billion people living in the urban areas by 2050. But why is that? Well, there are more opportunities in the cities, that's for sure, like jobs, schools, museums, restaurants, shops. But that's not the only reason. Climate change is an important concern. Some places are going to become uninhabitable, while some cities such as Miami, Shanghai and Rio de Janeiro will be majorly affected by global warming. And as the technologies are improving and our cities are growing, our ways to grow food will also evolve. Urban agriculture is becoming more and more popular. What that means is basically growing the food inside the city instead of having rural farms. Cities as big as Detroit have recently tried out this new way of producing food. And they like it. This is a good way to food security and food safety as it's grown locally. Roof gardens might also become more popular. Roofs are usually pretty boring, but having a garden on top of your house is a great idea. And if we add a beehive on top of that, well, that's just perfect. But having a garden is not a must anymore if you want to eat fresh, locally grown food. Growing food in the water without soil, aka hydroponic food, is trendy too. And if we don't need huge fields to grow food, this means food farms inside the cities will become more common. Let's keep it green, shall we? Yes, there will be an enormous amount of people living in the cities, but we all enjoy nature, even the hardcore towners. The parks, big and small ones, are already growing in places where parking lots used to be, and playgrounds for children or biking paths are multiplying. In the future, we can expect not having to go out of the city to rest our eyes, ears and minds. Actually, the cities are expected to become denser and grow even higher to fit more people and to make their lives easier. 
That being said, city centers are gonna stay expensive or get even pricier as more and more people will be willing to pay the already high price which will mean rich people will move towards the center while poor will be left on the outskirts of the city. And since major migrations are expected because of global warming, you might not need to go to Rio de Janeiro to see a slum. And this makes us wonder about safety. Will the crime rates go up or down? Hard to say, but there are things being done currently and there are solutions that are being proposed. First one we already know, the Robocops and security cameras. Another one is lighting. As we introduced street lights in our cities in the past, the crime rates fell. And now LED lights are making the streets even brighter, which should bring the crime rates down. But that's not all. In LA, every energy efficient lamp will link wirelessly to the Bureau of Street Lightning, letting headquarters know if it's on, off, broken, and so on. That will allow pedestrians to see what is happening around them and not having to walk around in the darkness. But the future is even brighter than that. The lights will change depending on what is happening around them. Like for instance, they will blink when there is police or ambulance vehicle in a hurry. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Have I forgot anything? Do you have anything to add? Are you as optimistic as I am about the future of our cities? Or do you have more pessimistic scenario in mind? Like the video, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next video. And see you then. Bye.